What better way to spend Valentine's Day than going online and deciding to treat yourself? So I picked up this guy. Let's go unbox it. G'day Art Adventurers, welcome back to my channel. Christopher here and today you get me in double cam mode and with a parcel from the Art Stack store, I decided to stop by their store last week on a whim and I saw that they were having a special Valentine's Day sale. Four different boxes for $10 each. And I know that they've had sales like this before and you've even been able to choose what you get, but I like the idea of having a surprise. I'm probably quite sure that I have one of these boxes because that's my luck. Or, you know, they're just filled with green supplies. But that's kind of half the fun for a surprise for me. And I'm pretty sure I'll find a use for the stuff anyway. One of them is the travel box. The other one is watercolor stuff. So let's unbox one of these bad boys. Super excited. I'm always super excited. Okay, am I on camera? Well, at least one of the cameras, am I on one of the cameras? I haven't tried this double setup before, so I'm sure it'll go horribly wrong. I don't know. So here we go. Can I be on both at the same time? Double cam view. We have, I don't have this box. The Mega Eraser. I've been so jealous of this one for so long. And then we have our green wrapped up supplies. So I'm guessing this is the travel one. We have a atomic fireball. Gosh, I don't think I've had one of these since I was in high school, early high school, quite a few years ago. And I don't know if the Australian ones are the same as the American ones. There's some sort of discount coupon and the menu, which I'll put aside for now. Oh, and sticker. This is actually my first ever original art stack sticker. I'm really excited just to get an original one. So, yay. Okay, let's open the parcel. It's what we're here for. So, I guess travel supplies. I'm gonna get some drawing pens, inking pens, maybe a pencil. Oh man. <laughs> I always watch people struggle on cameras opening things and I'm like, just rip it! But I swear I've done something horribly wrong here and I can't open it. I normally feel like I'm capable with these, but nope. Oh wow, okay. Yeah boy! Pencils! Okay, we've got... Some color pencils. Oh wow, they're Karen Dash. Dang, I don't think I've even seen this box, or maybe I have. And beautiful colors, and they're primary, and they're not green. I'm mind blown. Maybe it's because I chose this box for Valentine's Day. The world decided to be kind to me. So we have gold, cadmium, yellow and blue glacier ice blue watercolor pencils from Karen Dush, and I've never tried them. I'm super excited for that. A Derwent Graphic HB. Always can use a HB pencil for sketching. That's great. And then this guy is, is it double tipped? Yeah. It's a Japanese Fude brush pen brush end and thin end. Let's try these guys out. So I actually had some paper ready for once. And this is catfit. Oh yeah, if you reverse it. Um, this is the broad end of the brush. It's a firm felt sort of tip, I think. 
Yeah, definitely. And the firmness allows you to get um, a variation of line without any hassle. And I just did what I thought I would do, and that was to try to put the cap on the wrong way. And this cap goes on both ways, which is interesting. And then, is it flexible? Yeah. This one's cool. I don't know what kind it is. Pentallic, I guess, because it says penteru in hiragana. Penteru pen. And the kanji, I cannot read except to say thin line and thick line. Okay, then of course a HB. Did that even get on camera? Oh, only just. It's weird working with two cameras. Uh, HB pencil. Yep, it's a HB pencil. <laughs> and then we have some whoops, watercolor paper ready as well. Go me. So let's do light and heavy. They feel very creamy, as you would expect from Karen Dush. This on its own could be a really good urban sketching set with just the blue, yellow, and hopefully a good gradation into green. I think I would put in some other colors, but you know, if you only had these ones, I can think of worse things. And which brush am I gonna use? This one. Okay, so let's try the soft and super vibrant as expected and a nice mix. And then, wow, okay, exceptionally pigmented and a very strong green, wow. So there's my little hidden green curse. I knew it was there all along. Wow, that's such a beautiful color. Uh, let me show up closer. Those are some impressive pencils. I think I might have ha found a new addiction, Karandash Aquarelle. And for 10 bucks, what a steal to get to recap this box. The big eraser, which I didn't try. This boy's thick. Oh, and it's a sharpener. I forgot that. So it's a two in one. Does it collect the shavings? Yeah. Wow. Very handy. So what a surprise. It can erase. The eraser can erase. So to recap, this is the box for July. We have the Pentel, yeah, I could read it correctly, Penteru Duo Point Flex Double Ended Brush, $8.99 retail each. Apparently this pen alone is almost worth the entire cost of the box that I got for $10. Then we have the Karen Dush Museum Aquarelle Pencils for $4.40 each. These guys, apparently on their own, are almost worth the cost of it. We have the Doe and HB Graphic Drawing Pencil, 179. And we have the Doe and 2-in-1 Eraser Sharpener, 699 retail. I'm super happy with this box. I think it's a real winner. Thank you for unboxing it with me. And I'm looking forward to making something with this stuff. Well, why not do a two for one? Here's the other box. This one is apparently the watercolor box. We shall see if I've got it already. And if it's full of green stuff or not. Okay, we have, <laughs> yes it is. It's the box that I already have and I got the exact same color again. The Reseda Fluorescent Green Curse one. But I think it has an amazing brush in it that I really love. So let's dive in. We have some Laffy Taffy, the sampler paper, which is really fun to play with. Um, and then the 
menu, which I'll put aside for now. And this will probably form a gift for someone, so don't worry. And do, 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 do. Ooh, I got a different size brush. This is worth it alone, and it's a four, which is one of the most ex more expensive ones. I'm so excited. I use this brush all the time. I almost just used it for the last box and the swatches. I've dropped it a few times and the enamel has cracked off, which is a real shame. Or not enamel, the paint surface has cracked off the handle here, but the ferrule is still in amazing condition. The brush works super, super well still. And I've got the two flat and now I have the four flat. Oh, and <laughs> super green curse. I've gotten a new um, Amsterdam acrylic marker and I've been using these surprisingly more and more often and I don't have green. It's actually just called green. I can't believe what a green curse this is. Maybe it's my cute little froggy in the background. He's secretly cursing me and everything that I do. And then, you know, yeah, I forgot there's this terrible Copic drawing pen, which I don't like at all. But anyway, let's swatch them and see. I'm not gonna bother with the um, doo -doo 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 -doo. watercolor graphics. Well, it's not watercolor. It's ink that behaves a lot like watercolor. The Marabou Graphics Aqua Ink. I'm not gonna swatch it. I've done that in the past. I'll put a link up to the card so you can go check it out. And I've gotten a couple of videos where I've used them. My maybe favorite one is my Inktober day like 10 or something, day nine maybe, which is called Precious. And I paint a rainbow lorikeet from Australia and this color features heavily. Again, I'll put the card up and I'm really, really pleased with the painting that I made for that. And these are a lot of fun. Okay, let's see if I can make this work. Once again, it doesn't want to work. They're just so bad. I feel like the only way I can get them to work is if I turn them upside down and draw with them upside down. Otherwise, I just feel like I'm just rubbing forever and nothing comes out. I don't know what Copic was thinking when they, well, maybe they just wanted to cash in and make some money, but seriously, I'm still trying, still trying, just blobs of ink occasionally. Ooh, am I getting something upside down once again? I can draw, but not right way up. If I hold it completely vertical, maybe that's the secret for this. It's just meant to be no pressure and completely vertical all the time. I don't know, I don't really get it. I'd rather just use a felt tip liner pen, in my opinion. So that might find a new home from somewhere else, but these two babies, totally worth it. We've got, the tips here and you shake it up let's use this same card and then you just push down on the nib and hold a lot of people um pump it quite a bit but you really don't need to i find it'll just gradually come down and you won't risk damaging the nib and there we go it's a very green green, a very green curse green. Beep. And of course, they're fun that you can, if you work quickly, use them a bit like, <laughs> wrong end, a little bit like um, watercolor and mix it all around. Okay, so let's recap this box. It's also July, so I got July 2017 and July 2018, which is interesting. 
the Marabu Graphics Aqua Ink 399 retail. If you go online, you can find much cheaper prices for the Marabu Graphics Aqua Ink. Actually, they're really reasonably priced a lot online, at least when I've last looked. You get a, can get a starter set with a brush for like $12 of six of these sometimes. Um, the Molotow One for All Acrylic Twin Marker 1025 Retail. Expensive boys, but they're fun to play with and they actually last a long time. I've been using my white one so much. So I don't know if I'd say that they're worth $10.25, but they are a quality product and they are cool and fun to play with. This I'm super... Oh, and then we've got the Copic Drawing Pen 595 Retail. Can't believe they're worth that much money here in the US. And they're terrible pens in my opinion. And then we've got the Museum Emerald Artist brush. I've got the four flat here and it's $5.99 to $10.49 retail. I think the four flat is a middle of the road price. I'm very excited by it. So that's really cool. And then we've got the Grumbacher watercolor paper pad. So for 20 bucks to get all of these plus all of these, I am very excited. And this was a worthwhile treat yourself for me. By the way, if you don't know that reference, I really recommend checking out Parks and Recreation. It is a wonderful TV show. So it looks like I've got some new art supplies and goodies to go play with. I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are and take care. Bye.